Air signs. Hey, how are you doing? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, how are you this evening? I am your reader, Anetta. And we're going to tap into the energies of air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I'm going to tap into the energies of you and your person. We're going to see what's going on with you and see how that connection is going so far. Um, I feel tired. I, I, honestly, I'm not going to lie. It, it, it feels draining. It feels draining. So we're going to see what spirit has to say. But hopefully this message and this reading will give you insight onto what's going on between you and your person, air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? So let's get rocking. I'm going to get your energy. I'm going to get your person's energy. I'm going to get a theme for the reading. And then we're going to dive off into the tarot, okay? Air signs, please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless, okay? All right, all right, all right, all right. I feel like you don't want to do this. <laughs> Bells and whistles don't lie. I'm telling you, it feels tired. It feels like I don't want to do this anymore. I, I don't, I don't want to feel like this. I don't want to think like this. I don't want to go through this. Something of the sort. So we're going to see what's going on, okay? Let's rock. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is my air signs? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What is their leading energy towards their person? What is the leading energy towards their person? Okay, we got one that flipped on out. Go ahead with yourself. Air signs, what we have here? We have harmony. This is the lover's energy. Ooh, shuck it, shuck it, quack, quack. Ah, connection is here. Connecting on an emotional level here. Ooh, you feeling love, air signs? You feeling in love? Oh, look at y'all. Look, this is spiritual union. This is you feeling all ooey gooey and shit. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Gemini, you are here. So this could be your reading. And then we have solitude. Huh? This this the hermit energy. Virgo energy here. Somebody could have a Virgo moon. Huh? What's up under there? And then we have the triumph, which is the chariot energy. Oh. And then heart chakra. Should I stay? Should I go? This is for some of my air signs, especially Gemini. You know, um, you have a lot of love for a person, but it's like you're 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 retreating, you're protecting, you're moving forward. Here, no love loss is what I'm hearing, but you know you have a connection with a person, but it's making me feel like you're retreating from this connection here, okay? Especially my Geminis, or you can have a Gemini moon. I'm just saying, a Gemini Virgo moon, I'm just saying. Yeah, because with this this harmony and this solitude, this is, this is self-love. You're retreating from a connection because you want to love on self here, okay? But it's like, it's no love loss, okay? You have, you have, um... <clears throat> You have exchanged the energies of emotions with somebody and it and, and y'all on a good page, but it's something that you want to do or you want to separate or you feel like you're, you're in seclusion. It's, uh, what is that? Air sign? Mm -hmm. We're going to tap into it though. But yeah, you, you ain't no love lost. I heard you love them, but you got to let them go. Damn. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the leading energy of my air signs person towards my air sign? What is the leading energy of my air signs person towards my air sign? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Hmm. Okay. This is another thing I'm getting too. Air signs. You know you have another connection somewhere with this solitude and this harmony. Yeah. It's, it's making me feel like either you have another love, you have a new love, you have, yeah, 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 yeah. You made a choice in love. Yeah, you want a harmonious love. Yeah, yeah. Who, who, that's why it's making me feel like you're separating from your person because you want to be loved more. You want love, more love, something of the sort here. Uh-huh, going to size yourself to find yourself to see what it really is that you want. Uh-huh, information is here. Rook. Rookie, Rook, Anchor, Rook, okay. The reason why I said Rook is because look, behind her, that's the Rook for my chess players. 
That's the rook. And the rook only go left, right, up, down. Very, very um, decisive. There is no, 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 no other moves that a rook do. Either up, right, up, down, left, right. Period. That's all they do. That's all they want to do. I'm just saying. You're solid in your decision, solitude. You're solid in your decision. You got some information here, air signs. Uh-huh. This making me feel like air signs that you, you you got some information on what it is that you want out of love. You want to excite yourself to find yourself what it really is that you want out of love. That's why there's no love loss. Okay. All right. That's um that's way too many, Holy Spirit. Let's let's get it. Let's see. What is um my air signs person? How are they feeling towards air signs? What's their main energy? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Okay. They said. How you going? <clears throat> they said third party. I'm, I'm just gonna put it like that. Oh shit. We have <laughs> somebody is very dramatic here. Okay, we have the third eye chakra. And then we have challenging times. Yeah, somebody see a tough times up ahead your person yeah they know that there's challenging times up ahead with you air signs yeah uh-huh because you retreated you retreated because you went inside yourself to find yourself and you found out exactly what type of love or harmonious energy that you want to be involved in okay your person know that it's going to be a struggle up ahead with you because you retreated this that hermit energy so you you're 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 not um you're not sharing the love is what I'm hearing, okay? You could be cold and isolated. You could be not talking to your person or you could have changed and just like been very um, isolated, very to yourself. Let me see if you can see that. That's where my lighting is, whatever. <laughs> I know I need to get a ring light. I keep saying that, but I hope you can see it, but there you go. Yeah, and at the bottom of the deck, here we have... Uh, the masculine energy lead. <laughs> What's up under there? And detach. Yeah, this is a separation. Air signs, your person know that there is challenging times up ahead because you retreated. And so because you retreated, they're taking lead on the situation to detach from this disconnection here. With the detached, this is a justice energy. So, like I said, ain't no love lost. You see that, Dove? This is the justice energy. This is making me feel as though you guys are walking away mutually from each other. And there's no love lost. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Especially my Geminis. My Aries here. You could have an Aries moon as well. Or this could happen in Aries season. Yeah. Yeah, this third eye chakra. There's some type of um, premonition. Um, they know. Your person know. If your person know that it's going to be a struggle to be in a connection with you because you retreated, you retracted from your person. And it's, it's making me feel as though you found the reasons why you want to love or you found out what it is that you require from love, something of the sort, but your person know they don't have it. Your person is is, is being very, um, they're, they're operating in their masculine energy. Or this could be your masculine that is detaching. They're, they're taking the lead on this. It's like they know. Um, information is here again. I heard, I heard somebody is being a bigger person. Yeah. Somebody is being a bigger person about the situation because your person knows that you have detached and you retreated, retreated from this connection. And therefore, they're going to be the bigger person and 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 <laughs> and walk away or detach. This is the this is the only way that they can have stability. We have the justice energy here. Go Libra, Libra. You can have an Aries moon. Yep, I'm talking to the Libras that have an Aries moon, especially. Or I'm I'm talking to the Gemini's that have a, a Virgo moon. Okay. Your person see conflicts along down the road with you because air signs, 
you 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 are you your energy is closed off it's making me feel like because of self-protection here you're protecting yourself okay but heavy on the gemini i'm getting heavy gemini here okay let's see what is the thing okay they they switching they switching Okay, okay. I heard you, Spirit. I heard you. All right. No, they're not switching. I thought they were switching, but I, I was challenging wrong. <laughs> not wrong, but hearing no. I guess so, shit. I didn't hear what I thought I heard. They was like, no, no, no. This is, this is, this is the thing. Okay, so, okay, my bad. All right, Holy Spirit, what is the thing? What is the thing for the reading? Thank you. Reconsider. You see what I'm saying? This is both you guys. Both of you guys are reconsidering this connection here. Because both air signs, you're closed off and your person know and therefore they're going to detach. Closed off and detached. There is no <sighs> reciprocity here. It's, it, it, and, 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 they, and they keep screaming, no love lost. So it's like a mutual understanding that this has to separate. It's like you guys are on different paths. You want th different things in life, but there's no love loss. This is like the nicest breakup. I <laughs> Honey, boom. Let me tell you something. Air signs. In the near future, this will happen. You damn right. Reconsider. Look it. Okay. 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 And then wait. In the near future and wait. Stop, start, stop, start. Okay, reconsider. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. So, um, air signs. If you guys are talking about breaking up, y'all might need to reconsider that because it's like it's a mutual respect. There's no love lost. So, whatever you're going through, it, there's no reason for this separation. That's for stuff. Oh, goodness. I'm sorry. That just came on out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's confirmation, okay? There's no reason to separate from my other group of air signs. This is like you know the reasons why there there there's there need to be a separation here. You're reconsidering the the relationship. You're reconsidering the the agreement here that you guys have together. Okay, you're reconsidering it, and it, and it's it's making me really really feel that y'all breaking up on mutual terms. There's no love lost. You're retreating from this connection, air signs. Your person see that as a challenge in the future and they are going to detach. They're going to take the lead and detach and they're going to boss the fuck up and make that decision for you. Okay. So if you're retreating, going inside yourself to find yourself to see what it is that you really want to do, your person is going to take the action and say, fuck it. This is what is going to happen. Okay. They're going to make the decision for you. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. If you're if you're if you're like being cold and isolated and 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 just distant from your person, your person is going to decide for you that this distance is permanent. Okay? So are you going inside yourself to find yourself your person like shit? Let me let me let me decide for you. I'm just saying. Damn. Let's get some romance angels then. What we who we have here? Holy Spirit. Somebody's birthday could be September 4th. Okay? April 6th, May 6th. They, another person's birthday could be um, June 6th. Okay. Somebody could be 56 years old. Somebody could be born in 66, 65. Okay. Somebody could be, bo could be born in 94. Okay. This is way too many. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else I see? Hold on. Let me see something. Because this is going to wonky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody's area code could be 656. Six. Or that could be the first three numbers of your phone number. Or your address. Okay. All right. Let's see. What's going on? What's going on with my air signs in their person? Holy Spirit. Can you kick it out, please? That's too many. Can you kick out one, two, three? Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, here we have You Deserve Love. These wanted to come out in reverse, but I'm not reading reversals tonight. So, You Deserve Love. You damn right. You are lovable. You know it. 
This is you, air signs. You know you're lovable. This is why you're going back into yourself to find yourself because you know that, they, that you deserve love. Damn it. Oh, shit. You deserve love. Go ahead with yourself and then call in your soulmate. Let me tell you something. It says your person, wait, your prayers and affirmations and visualizations will help bring you two together. You deserve love. It's making me feel like you're detaching because you feel love deprived. Air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you're detaching from your person because you feel love deprived. Your person see this and notice, so they're going to take the initiative and be like, well, fuck it then. It's making me feel like your person is giving up because you're, you're, you, you're not satisfied. So because you're not satisfied in this connection, they don't be like, well, hell. Libra, you here up here strong. For my Libras, if you're in this energy, your person will take the lead and make sure that you you, you feel satisfied. That, that's for my Libras, yeah. Yeah, you got the masculine on top of the Libra. Uh -huh, that's your justice. So if you're feeling like this, please know that your person is going to step up and they're going to reassure you that this love is worth having with this harmony energy. Okay? That's only for my Libras. Gemini, this is you doing this to somebody else, detaching because you feel love deprived. Aquarius too. You feel love deprived. So you're going you you retreating back into yourself to figure out what it is that you actually truly want and require and desire from love. Your person knows this. Okay? All right. Let's keep going. Holy Spirit. What else can you tell me? Let's get one more. Look at you know, it's a lot. Y'all, you y'all in love. It's like you you have oh goodness. Let me let me let me stop. There we go. I just need one. Okay, it said take the top one. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. It is safe for you to love. You see what I'm saying? Because you deserve love and you know it. So it's safe for you to go after the love that you know that you require and desire. Air sign. Period. It says, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You're damn right. You're closing off from your person because you know that you want more love. You're feeling love deprived. And you know you deserve love. And you know it's safe for you to love. So you're calling in your soulmate. This is why you're detaching from your person. Okay? Yeah, passion at the bottom of the deck. You want more love and passion. Yeah. Could be, um, y'all come in. <laughs> It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. It's made me feel like you and your person is not really having sex or the sex is off or the sex is not where it used to be or where it could be or where it should be. This is why you're retreating here. But you have love for this person, but you're not feeling the love and the passion that you used to feel for your person here. They know it. This is a challenge to them. They see it. Your person could be psychic. Or they could have visions or premonitions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Premonitions about what is to come. Okay, this is self-protection mode here. Uh-huh. With this detaching need, you damn right. Okay. All right. Let's um let's get some clarifiers for these. What can you tell me about you deserve love? Holy Spirit. Thank you. I appreciate that. Take time to take action. You damn right. Uh -huh. Air signs, you taking action because you know you lovable. You know you deserve love and you know you want it. You're going after it. Real love, true love is what I heard. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh-huh. You have passion for somebody, but it's making me feel like it's not with your person because y'all having a lack of the lack of love in the bedroom. I'm just saying. This is for some, not all. Okay. Yeah. New moon in uh Aries. Uh Aries out here very strong. Yeah. You taking action on it because you deserve love. You're going after love. Air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Yeah, you're going after love. Whatever it is that your heart requires and desire, you're going after it. And you're detaching from your person or your person is detaching from you because they see the trouble up ahead because you're going after the passions of your heart. Okay? Let's clarify this calling in your soulmate. Thank you. <laughs> your needs, <laughs> your dreams need a practical plan. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I do not mean to laugh because I feel you. <laughs> Air signs, I feel I feel you. You want more love. You need more love. But you need a practical plan has to call in your soulmate here. Okay? If you already in connection with your soulmate, which I feel you're not because you're detaching from your person, but it's somebody else out there that you are connected to that you're trying to call in, you need a practical plan. Because whatever you're trying to do right now ain't working. 
This is why you're detaching. You're going into hermit energy against your current partner because it's like you know there's more out there. You know that you have more love out there and you want it. You know that you are more lovable than what you're getting from your person. And they know it too. It's kind of making me feel like your person want to beat you to the punch of the breakup. Like I broke up with you first. Because they already know that you're detaching. You, you're, you're, your soul is calling. Your heart is calling for more. It's making me feel like they don't feel as though they can. Because they, they got an ego problem and an ego issue. Okay? They want to be in control. They want to be in control of this situation, this connection, this relationship. Okay? They want things on their turn. But you're not giving in. Because you want more love. You retreated from this person that is trying to bully you. I wouldn't say bully, but they're trying to make you do or make you be what it is that they want. But it's like, shit, <laughs> air signs, you like, shit, uh-uh. I can only be me. I can only love the way I know how to love. And I ain't going to do it under your terms. I'm not going to do it under your guidance. I'm not going to do it under your bully and your leadership. Trying to lead me in love and, and trying to make me love you the way that, I, that, that you want me to love you. Shit. You can't make me love you the way that you want me to love you. I can only do, I can only love you the way that I know how. That's what I got. If I try to flip that to 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 your desires of what you want from me, shit ain't gonna work. Air signs, you're very logical. You're very strategic. You think too much about shit too. Okay, so this is this is not um you going into this hermit energy. This is this is not something that is uh 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 um. Fly by the seat, pants as energy. You thought about this very logically. And for a long time, because y'all overthink shit. <laughs> Probably looking too deep in shit. You see what I'm saying? But you looking deep inside yourself. Okay, yeah. You looking deep inside yourself to see what it is that you really want. Very logical about your decisions that you're making here. Uh-huh. Your person don't like it. They think you a smart ass. You think <laughs> your person think you too smart or you a smart ass or you 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 trying to uh what you call that? Too smart for your own good own good. Smarty pants ass shit. Uh-huh. So they rather detach than to try to battle you mentally. Okay? Especially when you retracted and retreated and when it ties yourself with this hermit energy. So therefore you feeling very cold over here. Even though you want love, you want this harmonious union with your person, no love lost, because you retreated, because it's like, shit, I'm not going to love you the way that you want me to love you, okay? I can only do it the way that I know how, okay? All right, uh, what can you tell me it's safe for you to love? Hey, damn right. That's what I'm saying. It's safe for you to love. I mean, it's like your love language is off here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You guys' love language is off, Okay? This is this is what's happening. This is this is why the separation is happening. If you're going through one, or this is why my air signs have retreated back into their self because the love language is off. Communication and the energies of love is whack. It's out of alignment. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's uh, let's clarify. It's safe for you to love. Thank you. Uh-huh. You and your loved ones are safe. <laughs> it is safe for you to love. And you and your loved ones are safe. And bring love into the situation. You see what I'm saying? This is a battle of love languages that's going on between my air signs and their person. You guys, communication and the energies of love is out of alignment. <sighs> air signs, you want this, but you just cannot get across to your person how to love you. This is why you know you got more love out there. This is why you're retreating your energies from your person because it's like you're not going to put up with somebody who can't understand your love language. Your person see this up ahead and they like, well, shit. They don't even want to deal with it. It's making me feel as though, hold on to your vision. Yeah, it's, it's making me feel as though air signs that, you know, it's, it's like there's a demanding energy here. Demanding on how they sh a person should be loved. And then the other one is not feeling it. Okay? You cannot make somebody love you the way that you want them to love you. They can only love you the way that they know how. And if that love language is out of whack and out of alignment, it causes separation. Okay? Let's get some. Let's see. We have 24. Okay, that's fine. 
Um, okay. <laughs> we ain't using them. Mm -mm. We using these. Okay, I heard you, Holy Spirit. Go ahead with yourself. All right, Holy Spirit, what can you tell me? Okay, you want me to shuffle like this? Dang, I ain't did this. I haven't shuffled this way in a long time. Okay, Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about this connection? Look it. Look it. Look it. The King of Wands. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Look, somebody wanting their way. Okay, taking action to make shit happen. But they don't know how. Look at that. Look, is it gonna work? Is it is it gonna work? Oh shit, I don't know. But I'm gonna make it happen. This is this is your person. Uh-huh. Yo, air, the air signs, this is your person. Oh yeah, look, they're gonna make it happen. They're they gonna they gonna do whatever it is they need to do in order for, to make this work. Okay? They trying to see if this gonna work. Or this is, yeah, they trying, they trying to see what action to take. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They trying to see what action they need to take in order to make this work. Okay, but they're, they, mm, look at here we have here. Look, the King of Cups. We have two kings back to back. This, this is this is the third party energy here. I'm sorry. Are, okay, this, no, 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 no. Before I get to talking, we have the devil in reverse. Okay, okay. Before I get to talking. There's two options here. Air signs either. You have two options between two different people or your person do. It's making me feel like your person has an option between somebody else. This is why they're, they're, they're shit. They're taking a lead on detachment because they see trouble up ahead with you because you retreated. Just saying. Um, very emotional here. Um, it, it's making me feel like somebody is dreading this. Okay, so your person could be dreading the fact that they want to, that they're taking action or they're. That, <sighs> this is you. Okay. Yeah, this is you. This is you. You dreading taking action. You dreading this. Yes. Yeah. It's a dread here. I'm just saying. Somebody could be a dreadhead. I'm just saying. But yeah, with these two kings popping out, it's making me feel air signs that you're you're stepping up and you're bossing up, but it's it's kind of like a out of a damn I got to type energy. I heard again being being the bigger person, dreading the action that you have to take because your heart is into it, in harmony. But it's, it's, it's being the bigger person. Look, heart chakra right here. Ain't that about nothing? It's a lot of love here. Uh-huh, bring love into the situation. One is in love and one is not. And this is for some, not all of my air signs. But, yeah, I, I'm getting that too. Somebody have an option. <laughs> Bells and whistles don't lie. Somebody have a choice between two people. One person is in love with the other, and the other one is not in, as in love. Yeah. Um, let's keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Passion. Bring love into the situation. This is what I'm saying. It's making me feel air signs. Especially because I have this masculine energy out here with the two kings. Masculine air signs. Your person has an option between two people because this situation is loveless. It ain't, there is no passion. Bring love into the situation and passion with this solitude. It's like you cut your person cold the fuck off. And they like, oh, this is going to be trouble up ahead. They see it. It's like you're being cold to your person. Not loving. Not nurturing. Not caring. This is why it's another king in the energies of your person. For my masculine air signs. Okay. You're damn right. This could be somebody from the past in your, your person's life that's stepping out into the forefront. Yeah, stepping out. You damn right. Look at your person. Your person got somebody from the past that's coming back in that's stepping in front of you. This is why they're detaching because you went cold on them. Your person have enough. My male air signs, my masculine energy air signs your person has somebody that is stepping out of the shadows of the darkness they could have been laying around while you was in this connection with your person but it is somebody from their past that's stepping out to the forefront because you 
retreated and you secluded yourself from your person. So your person has options here because you retreated. <coughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's making me feel like if your person was married before, that ex-husband that came back around, are they still in connection with that ex-husband and they're stepping up in front of you? I'm just saying. That's what's here. What is this? The ten of swords, you're damn right. Hell yeah. You know this, Air Signs. You know that somebody from their past, your person past, then step their ass back on the scene here. And they are detaching from you because, because you were. <sighs> impassionate your person stepped away from you because you wasn't giving them passion love or anything because you retreated okay i'm telling you this air signs especially my mass too much masculine energy so i'm talking to my male air signs aquarius libra gemini's okay your loveless ass now cause your partner to have their ex step back on the scene and give them that cup of love, that big ass emotional, energetic energy of love that you cut off. I mean, damn, was you keeping the dick from them? My masculines? My masculine air signs, was you keeping the dick from your person? And your person says she, this is a problem up ahead. So somebody from their past and a step back on the scene. I'm just saying. Yep. That's what happened. Look at two of cups. I can't lie. I'm telling you. If your person was married before or they was in a long-term committed relationship before you, oh, that person is back around. Because you was loveless towards your person. No passion, no, no dick. This is for my masculines. No, no loving, no nothing. Or it could be cooch, whoever. I'm just saying. But I just seen the big ass wand. So you know what I mean with this king of wands. So I, that's why I said dick. You know, keeping the dick from your person and somebody else and stepped in in front of you and started dicking them down. Ooh, shit. I'm sorry. And you know this. High priestess energy. Could be a Pisces. You know this intuitively that they, that somebody from their past that came back around because you were being cold and loveless to, towards your person. You retreated with the solitude. You retreated. Your person seeing that as a problem. You taking your love, taking your passion, taking your emotions back, going inside yourself. It could be because you have to heal. This hermit energy is very healing. So it's something within yourself that you had to heal that you wasn't being compassionate or loving or caring towards your person. They felt that, they seen that there was a problem up ahead and they said shit. And it just so happened that somebody from their past that they was committed to, married to, or whatever, then stepped back on the scene, and here go this soulmate energy. The Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups. This is backstabbing and betrayal because the soulmate just stepped on the scene. Okay? I got two kings here. See what I'm saying? This is for my masculine. The third son. Okay, they keep saying masculine air signs, so I'm going to keep saying it, but you damn right. Okay, let's keep going. Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me? Let's see. Oh, they jumpy too. See what I'm saying? That's too many though. Let's get one, babe. Yeah, let's get one. Well, go ahead with yourself then, Holy Spirit. Don't run. <laughs> the Holy Spirit have a lot to say, so let's say it. Look, at in the high priestess, again, at the bottom of the deck, you know this. Your intuition is screaming at you. You need to pay attention to it. This is why there's no love lost. Because you know you were loveless towards your person. So your person got somebody else to replace your ass and you know it. And you cool with it? Because it's making me feel like he wasn't getting what you need from your person anyway. So you cool with it? Huh? This is why I say this breakup is mutual. Both of you guys know the reason why you must separate. And y'all cool with it. You know, air signs, you know that you wasn't getting what you need from your person. And your person know that they wasn't going to get what they needed from you. Mutual. Okay. 
Here we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups with the Two of Cups. And then we have the Emperor. Oh, Aries energy. And then we have the Magician, the Manipulator here. Okay. We have the emperor out here twice. Your person is very headstrong and very egotistical. Your person know that they was going to get love one way or another. Hell yeah, they know they can manifest this. Look, they manifested your ass, air sign. I'm just saying. Okay, with this two of cups and the, and the ace of cups, it's the three of cups. Third party energy is here. You see what I'm saying? This is somebody that they was in love with before you. That they manifested back in their life because they couldn't get it from you. It's like they went back to an old love because you was you was not giving them the love that they require and desire. So they conjured up the old love that they used to and they're familiar with. They could have been married or in a long-term committed relationship with this person that they done conjured up again. And now you now you in the third party situation. Because your person was not getting what they need from you. And the reason why they wasn't getting what they needed from you, because they wasn't giving you what you needed. This is why this is a mutual breakup. Honey boom. But there's true love here. Y'all have love. <laughs> Y'all have love. <laughs> I'm serious. I'll tell you. You guys have love within each other. But this big ass reconsider, yeah. Your person is reconsidering their connection with you. But you love them, but it's like you unsatisfied. Your passions, and I, it, it's, um, you know, you can have love. It's just not with your person. Your person know this. This is why they dipped out. Okay. What's up under that? Five of swords. Yep. You damn right. And then we have the nine of, nine of pinnacles. This is a breakup. It, it's making me feel as though, um, there could be some type of, um, there could have been some mind games, bullshit, and fuckery between you and your person because of the three of sources here. So somebody was heartbroken, crying a lot of tears, but there's two people again. Somebody is always on their mind and they got to still look at this person that they still with. You see what I'm saying? This mind games, bullshit, and fuckery here. But somebody had disconnected from that tear. Um, Air signs, you know you had to disconnect from this person because of the mind games, bullshit, and fuckery here. That single energy, you're self-sufficient by yourself. I'm just saying, you know you could do this by yourself. You don't need them. This is why it's that disconnect here, air signs, especially my masculine. I don't have no feminine energy out here. I'm just going to say, so, hey, it, it, it started to make me feel like my feminine air signs, <laughs> this is not your reading. I mean, but it's a general reading, so energies can flip flop, but I'm just really getting like, it's my masculine air signs that is going through this right here and right now, because I have too much masculine on my board right here. Mm-hmm. Shit. Especially, hell yeah. And let me tell you something about masculine air signs. Um, you're embodying this king of wands and this king of cups, so there is a lot of love. Hell yeah, with this harmony, human eye energy, there's a lot of love inside of you that you want to give, but it's just not with this person. This person see it, this person know it, this person want it from you, but since you're not giving it to them, that conjured up somebody that used to give it to them, and now they going on on it merry way. But they still with you. You're still in this connection. It's making me feel as though this connection is almost at the end of the road with this ten of swords here, okay? Because there's there's betrayal here. With the five of swords and the ten of swords, there's some type of betrayal here. It's making me feel like your person is in the May, has put you in a third party situation because they conjured up somebody that loved them from the past because you wasn't loving them in the present. Okay. All right, let's um let's get some advice. Holy Spirit. Let's put these over here. Put that right there. Let's get some advice for my air signs regarding this connection. What if, thank you, Holy Spirit, hope. <laughs> keep, keep hope alive. <laughs> you do have love. Yes. What you know that is out there, hell yeah. Keep that hope that you can have it. It's here. Okay? You there, right? What else can he tell me? Keep hope alive. Hope and love because you knew you wasn't going to get it. You knew you wasn't getting it from this person. You felt unsatisfied. That's why you retreated. Okay? Because I told you it's, it's something else out there that you know. That you want and that you can have. Uh-huh. What we have here? Free spirit. Uh-huh. Free your mind and the rest will follow. Uh-huh. 
You going after it. You going after it. <laughs> you you get a little flashy. You get a little flashy. But yeah, keep keep that 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 energy of newness, excitement, awareness, enthusiasm about love and life because it's there and you know it. You know it. But you just you just being cold and cut off towards your person that you're with now. Okay? Because you want something else. You know it. You know it. And then we have blessings. You see what I'm saying? You know that there's blessings out there for you. And then we have light. You have enlightenment here, baby. You know that there's more out there that you're getting from your person. Here's the reason why you retreated from your person. And your person says, shit, I'm going to get the love that I want from you from somebody else. Because you wasn't giving it. Because you know there is more than what you have right now with this person. Huh. I hope I got that out. Yeah. Any more messages? What's at the bottom? Ask for help. So maybe you need some guidance. Maybe you need some counseling. Maybe you need some advice from somebody that you trust here. In order for you to make the right decisions regarding this situation here. Yeah, you got to bring love into the situation. So you might need to. <laughs> and then here go that solitude again. Ask for help in solitude. You hard-headed as shit. You are, you are heartless. I, oh, I don't mean to say heartless. But you are not giving what you have inside of your heart to your person. This is why I said heartless. You're heartless towards them. You're not giving it. I don't know if it's something like hope. It's something that you've seen or it's something that you know or some type of acknowledgement that you have enlightenment. So maybe you know that this other person in your person's energies is around the scene. So you just like cold and cut off and you're not giving up no sex. You're not giving up no compassion. You're not giving up no kisses. You're not giving up nothing. You're just giving common courtesy. This is why you got to bring love into the situation because it's, it's not there. It's not. Y'all, love language is off. And because of it, it's caused the separation between you and your person. Okay? All right, air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is what I have for you. And I hope these messages help. If anything resonated, please drop a comment down below. That lets me continue to flow in the energies of the readings that I give you because I love this. Okay, so I will see you in the next video, okay? Till then, take care. Bye.